I love Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as you likely know, it was very high in my top 5 games of 2020 video, so that makes it even harder to watch this trend that has really been going on since the launch of the game. You would think that Ubisoft has learned from Ghost Recon Breakpoint's microtransaction shop and practices, but while not on the same level yet, Valhalla is totally going into a similar direction and way faster than I was expecting. Since launch we've seen updates fixing some of the many issues with the game while also introducing new ones, but the focus of these patches has been on new microtransactions. Every week since launch there's a new option to spend 10 or more dollars on new items with no option to get them through playing the game. And there's also almost no new free exciting contents to balance this out. So in this video I want to look at this problem that is only going to get worse as we head into 2021 and how it will likely impact the long term health of the game and what I hope that Ubisoft does to change this. A like on the video would of course really help me out. And let's go. Right now, at the time of this recording, less than two months after launch, there are 18 armor sets in Valhalla, eight of which are sets that require you to pay extra money. And there's also a Sauron pack coming this Tuesday that makes it nine. Meaning that in the next few weeks, we will hit a point where there are more Helix Store armor sets than normal armor sets you can get through playing. Of the 6 flails that will be in the game after the Sauron pack, only 3 can be earned through playing. So this will only get worse because again we're just less than 2 months after launch because every week Ubisoft seems to add new Helix items with no way to get them through playing the game. And this of course where Reda comes in and I really think that this feature can work well and a great example of that was when the Allsfinder mount and the Mournful Cryhammer appeared recently. Like then if you did your daily objectives and the weekly you can get these really cool items that you otherwise have to pay for. But the problem now is that these items were already in the game at launch. From the four packs that we've now seen post launch, only one is obtainable through Reda. While in Odyssey, these item packs were immediately obtainable through the Oikos of the Olympians as well, as you see in this tweet where they kind of promote this. And the Oikos with Sargon is of course the same as Reda Shop. So right now in Valhalla, Ubisoft is holding these items back on purpose so you can only buy them with real money. Not to mention that of course getting a full armor set through the system is almost impossible because then all the 5 items need to appear and with the amount of tattoos, settlement items and naval content that nobody really cares about, it will take a really long time for that to happen. Tattoos come in 5 pieces, so are 5 separate items that can all appear at Reda. Removing them from the daily selection would already help a lot. For weapons that are not linked because of a set bonus, this system works actually pretty well, just like mounts, but it will be super hard to get any of the armor sets. And it's wild that the daily and weekly contracts are a major step back from Origins and Odyssey. There is only one weekly contract in the game that has to kill 4 enemies, and a handful of dailies that has to go kill some random enemies as well. This all feels like an afterthought, an excuse for them to release $40 microtransactions each week. It just sucks to see that these new packs are polished, they look awesome, release like clockwork every other week, while bug fixes for some major problems take a really long time. I've done everything in this game and I still cannot interact with this person. I, this, this, this bug has been in this game since the beginning. And free content like the reason your festival is completely broken upon release. High chance that you experience this as well, right? And if the community manager has to post a full list with known issues about a festival four hours after it went live, then I don't know why Ubisoft thought that it was a good idea to release this. I don't care if it has to do with Christmas, this completely ruins my experience with the first free update that we got. I would say delay everything, like I'm fine, because there are some fundamental problems with the game right now, but then also slow down with those microtransactions. But the issues run way deeper than this, because Ubisoft is now intentionally making these Helix items better than other gear sets in the game. A big pillar of the Valhalla combat is that health does not regenerate over time, so you have to use food, and collecting that throughout the game before big fights is an important aspect of the gameplay loop. But then Ubisoft adds the Hell's Damnation set, giving you 2% health back on a hit when 
when your weapon is ignited. Something you can very easily do thanks to the fire strike ability. So then you get health back by just fighting an enemy using two spears for example will let you get your health back in no time. The new sword from that pack gives 30 attack when your weapon is on fire. Again, super easy to trigger this. For comparison, we got the House Carl's Axe you can actually earn in the game, giving you 1.5 extra attack per hit, up to 15 extra attack per hit, but for only 2 seconds. Your weapon is on fire for like 15 seconds after one ability, and then you can just trigger this again. While with the axe, you have to continuously hit the enemy, and then the highest amount of extra attack you can get is half of that from this Helix Sword. And why do the Helix armor sets have major rune slots on every armor piece, while the regular armor sets only have a major rune slot on the chest? And yes, these major runes give better and more unique bonuses, than the regular runes in the game. Ubisoft is really not thinking about a fair balance for the game. Their focus seems to be on launching a new gear set that is better than the one before that, so more people will buy it. It's really pay to win. And sure, it's a single player game, who cares? Well, one of the appeals from Odyssey post launch was coming up with the best builds, and you could easily do that with the gear you could earn through playing. While in Valhalla, there's no way that regular armor sets can come close to the stats that you get, if you pay extra money, so there's no fun in that at all. And sure, we had packs in Origins and Odyssey as well, but the balance felt way better. In Origins, the best items were obtained through the Trial of the Gods, a free max level activity that everyone could do. Sure, some weapons from the Helix Store were pretty good, they looked pretty cool, but they mostly could not match some of the items that you could just get through playing. In Valhalla, you get a new armor set for free, Awesome, it is a reskin, but sure, I'll take it, only it's really bad compared to any of the Helix Store items. And in Odyssey, Epic Gear was better than Legendary Gear because of the extra perk on the purple items, meaning that the best builds in the game mostly did not even include the legendary armor pieces, let alone Helix items you could buy. Again, there were some exceptions, but Helix sets mostly added different ways to play instead of ways to cheat yourself to the top. And if you wanted to make an amazing build, then you would just use epic items that you could only get through actually playing the game. But no, in Valhalla, the Sauron pack will add a shield that lets you get health back over time after just a simple block. So they removed health regen, but if you pay, then you get a shield that gives you health regen. And I'm fine if there are microtransactions in a game to find a big team who's then working on a lot of free post-launch content, so then players who do not want to spend extra can still enjoy all the free content. But right now, after more than $200 of extra gear, we only had a broken and pretty lackluster event in return. The Valhalla post-launch has been incredibly lackluster compared to Odyssey 4 example where we already had two major lost tales of greece missions a month after launch the visual customization feature a lot of quality of life improvements steropis the first mythical creature was added by this point in the life cycle we would have new weekly ships that give you a free ship design in origins we were already doing the trial of the gods right now and sure this year is different thanks to everyone working from home maybe we got spoiled thanks to the brilliant support from ubisoft quebec but right now, the balance is completely off. Right now, the focus is clearly on selling people as many packs as possible instead of actually keeping them in the game with interesting new content. And it just grows as well, adding an XP boost a month after launch so the reviews would not mention it, adding a premium starter pack, half the price of the game. While we could totally use some of the cool looking weapons and armor sets as free content as part of the Yule Festival. Well, if this continues, there will be less people in the game to actually actually sell these packs to. I want to talk about the balance and the rune system in the future because that's completely broken right now and that will also make the game less fun in the long run. Like again, I love Valhalla, I want to be playing this for a full year but right now I'm kind of seeing Ubisoft just running this thing that they have into the ground. Like they seem to forget why Origins and Odyssey were a success post launch and that was not because of the item packs, no it was because there was also a ton of free content that kept us interested in the game 
and a lot of ways to customize our character. Both are not present in the game right now, while we get way more microtransactions than ever before. The February updates with the river raids do sound interesting, like new maps with new raids that should be replayable. But does that really mean that between now and then, all the new content we get for Valhalla are overpriced packs? Sure, we're still early in the post-launch plan, so I want to remain optimistic. I feel that it's important to talk about this though, because if this trend continues, then it's not gonna be fun, I think, in the long run. I'm curious to hear your thoughts as well. Ubisoft is normally very good at listening to the community. We saw that with Odyssey and the Sargon system that they changed based on feedback as well. So I really hope that they improve this because I think we all want the same and that is have a fun game to play for the months to come. I'm still having fun in Valhalla. Just right now seeing this makes me worried and that's why I thought it was nice to uh, make this video. Subscribe of course for way more Valhalla content, a like on the video would really help me out. And you can watch my previous video on the top 5 best games of 2020 by clicking on the screen. Totally if you haven't watched it yet, I think you will like it and there will tell you why I like Valhalla as much as I do. For now though, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.